Okay, here's a tutorial on how to create your own pattern for a pixel pop display in Photoshop. So you're going to want to make a new Photoshop document. And it's really important that you make one of these values, the number of pixels that's going to be on your thing. I'm going to put 30 pixels on this next toy I'm making. So I made the uh, height 30 and then the width 80 because I like to have kind of like a widescreen pattern, kind of just like a widescreen computer monitor. Um, so I'm going to change the background from white to solid black, which is 000, and it's really important that you use exactly 000 instead of like 532, because 000 is going to make the LED completely off, which is going to provide the highest amount of contrast to the LEDs that are on. So I find a really easy way to make these patterns is to just grab this custom shape tool. There's a lot of shapes that come with Photoshop, and you can download even more and then you know adjust your stroke and fill depending on the color palette that you're trying to use for this pattern and I'm just gonna drag out a couple of these and I'm holding down shift while dragging to constrain the aspect ratio Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to add the curves adjustment layer. And then with the curves here, my goal is I want all the pixels to be either solid red or solid black with no anti-aliasing and this is really important because it's going to provide the most amount of pop to your pattern. Okay, so let's say we wanted to take this image that we got off of Google Images and make it our pattern. We just have to save it. And just going to drag and drop it on in here. And so it was a big image, so it's getting squished down to the size of our 30 pixels, and that's making it look kind of weird. So really, we just need a few of these colorful tendrils. So I'm just going to scale it up. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then I want to make this pattern so that it's seamlessly looping, and you're never going to be able to tell when it reaches the end of the pattern and comes back to the beginning. So the way you do that is to first increase your canvas size and our canvas size is going to need to be twice the size of the image so if our canvas width was 80 now it needs to be 160 and then take this guy and drag him to the left side duplicate him flip the duplicate horizontally and then drag the duplicate to the other side of the screen and now you can see when it reaches the middle this red swoosh just keeps going and reaches the end it's kind of the end of this pink and blue swoosh but it's going to pick right back up on the other side so the only thing we need to do to this now is to get in here bring in our curves adjustment layer and on a picture like this I really just want these kind of hot spot areas to glow a little bit more so I'm going to curve up these highlights a little bit and then to add some contrast and make it pop, I'm going to drag down these low lights and I might even drag them all the way down to black to get these nice black areas in here. And that's all.